Tower of Time is a very useful SMG in Destiny 2, and even though it's from Gambit with the right roll, it can be used very effectively in PvP and also PvE too. Well, today I'm going to check out the Borrowed Time in a little bit more detail, look at the God Rolls for PvE and PvP, plus look at how to get Borrowed Time in Destiny 2. Well, if you're new around here or find this useful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for all the latest Destiny 2 content and turn on notifications by hitting that bell. And roughly 98% of viewers who watch this week in video games are subscribed, so subscribe today and never miss an update. Well, Sub Machine Guns are about to get a new lease of life in Destiny 2 in the upcoming Witch Queen expansion, and Borrowed Time is a great example of a decent multi-purpose SMG. Well, Borrow Time is a legendary energy submachine gun with an aggressive frame. I mean, it's got high damage and high recoil. And looking at the stats, it's got 22 for impact, 43 for range, 26 for stability, 57 for handling, 30 for reload speed. It's a 750 rounds per minute submachine gun with 26 in the magazine. Well, next up, let's have a look at the Borrowed Time God Roll Guide. So for PvE, corkscrew rifling, ricochet rounds, feeding frenzy. And Rampage would be a decent roll, so Corkscrew Rifling increases that range and stability, and also slightly increases the handling speed. Ricochet Rounds, on the other hand, increases the stability and slightly increases the range. And then you've got Feeding Frenzy, and that is where each rapid kill with a weapon progressively increases the reload speed for a short time. Then you've got Rampage, and that increases the damage after kills, and that stacks up to three times. Well, next up, let's have a look at PvP, and this is a really good SMG in PvP with the right roll. So for PvP, Chambered Compensator, Armor Piercing Rounds, Range Finder, and Tap the Trigger would be a really, really good roll. So this one can compete with the Multimac and also Shara's Wrath. So Chambered Compensator increases stability, it moderately controls recoil, and slightly decreases handling speed. Then you've got Armor Piercing Rounds that increases range. Range Finder obviously increases range even more, and then you've got Tap the Trigger, and that grants a short period of increased stability and accuracy on the initial trigger pull. Well, next up, let's have a look at how to get Borrowed Time in Destiny 2. Well, to get Borrowed Time, this is a potential drop from the end of Gambit matches. So, if you have a decent team, you can run through Gambit matches pretty quickly. Well, this season, the Servant Leader is the main Gambit weapon, and that does seem to drop a little bit more frequently than Borrowed Time, but you can still get it. Also, Zer has sold this weapon in the past, so keep an eye on Zer's inventory each week, as he may well sell it again. I do an update on Zer every Friday, so make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell to never miss a Zer update. We can also pick up Gambit bounties from Drifter. He is in the annex in the tower, and you may get a chance for the weapon to drop on completing the bounties, or by levelling up Gambit ranks at Drifter. Well, the TLDR on getting borrowed time is Gambit, so complete Gambit matches or go to Drifter, level up at Drifter and do his bounties. Well, let me know what you think of the Borrowed Time in the comments. And that is it for this guide on how to get the Borrowed Time in Destiny 2. And as always, thank you so much for watching. For more Destiny 2 content like this, hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to This Week in Video Games. Or you can follow me on Twitter at TWIVG Podcast. If you enjoyed this video, found it useful, liking and sharing the video would really help me out. Otherwise... Check out the other videos on the channel. Well, thanks again, and I'll see you soon.